Welcome back to Bites of Pie. This time we're making yard arches out of CPVC, PEX, and light strip. Let's get started. So we're talking about our smaller arches and the different materials that we use to make these smaller arches. We've got PEX B, this is actually PEX B, but I don't think it really matters between PEX B and PEX A. And we also have CPVC. You may ask me, why do you use CPVC? Because it's a lot more expensive. Well, the only problem is, is that the diameters of PEX and the diameters of CPVC match, whereas PVC doesn't. So if you were to buy, in this case, I'm buying three quarter inch PEX B, <coughs> the couplings match CPVC three quarter inch. So you can easily put in a PEX tube into a CPVC uh, cup. CPVC is a lot more rigid than PEX is. PEX is a lot more flexible. You can do a lot more with it, even though it's a thicker, a thicker gauge. But the PEX allows for a translucent kind of diffusing of your, of your LEDs, whereas the PEX will not. So the CPVC uh, base with the CPVC T couplings and the PEX B uh, arch. So you may also wonder, like, how do I get my measurements? Well, essentially what I'm doing is, <laughs> what drives the measurements of my arch is the materials I'm using for the LEDs. So I usually buy the Alatov LEDs, which has the, uh, also has the uh, silicone covering to make it a little more uh, environment proof. So it's got the silicone over top of it. And these come in rolls of five meters. So you essentially, I can make two arches out of this. I'm gonna cut these in half. And so half of the five meters is two and a half meters. And then I add an additional, you can see this coupling has an additional half inch here, plus another additional half inch to allow us, me to drill a hole in the back and to have the wires extrude through. So total, an additional two inches past 2.5 meters. So we're mixing metric and uh, English uh, measurements together. So uh, just do the math and I'll have the actual measurements for the arch and the PVC uh, in the video. So you won't have to miss out on that. Again, it's really to your taste, however you want to measure this and whether you want smaller arches or bigger arches, you can do whatever you'd like. Just remember to leave space you don't want to you want you don't want to uh, cut it too short that your lights will come through your PVC. One of the challenges I found working with PEX is is that when you buy it in bulk like this it comes pretty coiled up and I want to be able to measure the exact same amount so that all the arcs are are even. So how would I go about doing that accurately? It's pretty tough to take a tape measure and try and stretch it and make it fit and make it match each time so once i get my first arc and i like the <laughs> like the circumference so that's not so it's not too shallow of an arc because you don't want too shallow of an arc otherwise it'll be kind of flat and if you don't want too curved otherwise it'll be too round you kind of want that golden spot where it's like, like a circle like a half of a circle so once you get it like that i have two long sections of rebar. I believe it's uh, 10 foot sections of rebar. And I take the first set of X and stretch it using the rebar to a straight distance. So that makes it easier to measure. Same thing, I'll take another section of rebar. We use a lot of rebar in our show anyways. So it's good to have these 10 footers around just in case for this type of work. I'll find the section of PEX to start with. And I'll do the same thing. That's kind of tough, especially if it's been kind of coiled in there for a while to straighten it out. So kind of flex it. I tried different methods like heating it up using a hot air gun and it didn't seem, I mean, it worked a little bit, but PEX is already flexible and having a straight line 
measuring straight lines a lot easier than measuring a, a curve. So I'll set these things up side by side. And then using my old trusty Sharpie, I mark how much I want to cut off. Now that I've marked it, I'm going to shift to my cutting tool. Now you can cut pecs with a lot of things. There's cutter tools and grinder tools. You can even use a regular saw. My favorite is the a circular tool like a Dremel, but it cuts through pecs as as needy as as well as pretty much anything. I'll also share with you a little bit of wisdom from my father. Whenever you're using a power tool and you have an extension cord, it's good to kind of like loop your cord around this way and then bring it back together so that any tension that happens on it happens on the overlap and not it doesn't pull your cord out. So just a little extra tip. Now that I've got this, I want to pull out enough rebar so that I won't cut the rebar. I'm not looking for cutting the rebar. So I'm just going to pull the rebar out far enough to where I marked it and then make my cut. And I'm also, you also notice I'm using eye protection whenever you're using a rotary tool. Always good because you never know something can come back and hit you in the face and that would not be good. Just like that. This is the result of our project. We have 16 PEX arches. They are in groups of four. You can see the first four here at the end where the data runs from the center out to the end. And the opposite, the next four over here in green where the data runs from that end out. And down there you can see the other blue and green arches. So 16 in total. There are two controllers. You can see that this controller here is in this MO box. The data is flowing out here from the center, out, down, across the strips, out to the end. And we also have a power cable that goes from here out to the end so that we power inject there at the end of the arches. So fairly simple. We have, if we zoom in here closer, you can see the data and the power injection. And then you can see a power line running all the way down to the end of the arch to power inject there. So we have enough to power these five volt arches. In order to conserve the the X connect or Rewu connectors, we actually have Rewu instead of X connect. We only have four connectors. We have two here for the data and then two out there at the end. So each of these arches are connected directly. So if you can see here, we wire one side, or we solder the water wire from one arch right to the other, and they kind of they fold up on themselves for storage. So we can group them in groups of four. Also, we have down here. You can see here how do we keep the arches on? We chose not to uh, PVC them on or use uh, PVC cement or anything. We're using a hair a hairband. So we're actually uh, connecting, pulling the arch down here. We have a hairband sticking out of the pecs and wrapping it around the, the CPVC to keep it anchored to the bottom piece. And we're not doing anything very sophisticated. We're just s simply have a one foot rebar pounded into the ground with a couple inches sticking out. And we just stick that back over the arch. So fairly simple to install and I've pulled it out over here. <laughs> I'll fix that later. But overall, fairly straightforward. Well, there you have it. We've just built some awesome light up arches using PEX, CPVC and LED light strips. If you enjoyed this project, be sure to give that video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech savvy DIY projects. Remember, whether you're a seasoned maker or just starting out, there's always something new to learn and create. Keep tinkering, keep innovating, and most importantly, keep the bites of pie flowing.